my name is Devin and I've worked here for about two years. Um, I just saw you guys on Indeed and I showed up for the interview and then the rest is history. Um, it's great. So everyone is super energetic. Everyone gets things done. You know, they're really motivated, but they're, it's just, a, it's great to be around people who get stuff done and have a good outlook and a good view on the world and life. Oh my gosh, I've learned search engine optimization, how websites work, how uh, important it is to show up as a business on Google. I've learned how to manage people. I've learned sales. Everything I've learned is completely priceless. Like it's great. Um, the two years I've been here, I've learned more than I did in college. And I worked here right out of college and learned more here than I ever would at school and college or anything. Um, it's, it's fast paced and great people um, and it's it's funny <laughs> um, a person who can you know joke around but also get stuff done and uh, can really handle like the follow-up just do it if, I mean if you want to work here clay will find a place for you so definitely do it getting to go to Pennsylvania Miami California the traveling and getting to experience all that that's the most memorable part um, so I started out doing search engine optimization and then I went into the elephant in the room uh, as a manager and then from there I was the manager of the phone sales department um, and then I started doing more HR, human resources, scheduling um, and I think and then I was a business coach as well and a graphic designer. So. Hi, I'm Josh and we're hiring. Oh yeah, and we're looking for you. Why? Because you want to do work that matters. You want to be part of something that's changing the game. You're different, and that's why I like you. Do you really want to work in the beige doldrum of corporate America, trying to get your ideas through the minefield of VPs, executive VPs, and the chief of the nobody gives a crap division? No, you don't. Exactly. Hey, that's a nice shirt. Thank you. I'm here to tell you there's a better way. We need more people on our team and we have a position that just might be perfect for you. Cause I gotta say, we've got some people that, um, they're just not quite cutting it. I find your lack of faith disturbing. I find your lack of productivity disturbing. Touche. Oh, and one more thing. Here's a picture of our founder, Clay Clark, and his best friend. What's that you say? There's no one else in the picture? It's cause he's waiting for you. Vader, back to work. Yes, my name is Daisy Capehart. So I am the call center manager for Elephant in the Room. Clay has been awesome. I would say he is my goat, my greatest of all time. He's been a really solid mentor. Um, I've learned a lot of information about how to be a better leader uh, in a very short amount of time. My name is Marshall Morris and I've known Clay Clark for the past nine years. And over the past nine years, it has been fantastic uh, working with Clay. Uh, I originally started working with him over at DJ Connection and have been with him through the Realty Group. And it's just been fantastic. It's been a roller coaster of a ride and I've loved every minute of it. So in the time that I've been working with Clay, I've learned a whole capacity of different things. In fact, I think that that's one of the most differentiating things up here in the office is how many different things that you can learn. Um, I've learned uh, search engine optimization, sales skills. Uh, Clay is one of the best sales trainers in the world and uh, as well as website development, managing people, managing clients' expectations. These are all invaluable skills that you can learn up here in the office and that uh, Clay's taught me. My name is Lexus and I heard about Elephant in the Room through a friend that I used to work with. I think the experience is very positive. The atmosphere is very energetic and always very great people to be around. At Elf in the Room, there's always room for growth and opportunity. Like I said, everyone is very positive and accepting and there's also a really great work-life balance and they just care about you more than anything. My name is Dee Tucker and I've known Clay for going on about five years now. Uh, I'm the lead designer here. Working with Clay, Clay is an anomaly. Um, if Thrive is a set of principles, watching Clay is like watching the standard. It can be an amazing experience just being around him. Uh, my name is Jordan Denmark. Working with Clay is 
really unpredictable, uh, dynamic. It's kind of like working for Mr. Miyagi combined with Eminem with a little bit of Mark Zuckerberg. The cool thing about working with Clay is that everything translates to real life. I think the biggest thing that I've learned from Clay is the concept of trade-offs. So sacrificial work ethic, you have to give something to get something. Clay is extremely self-assured. He is unapologetically himself all the time. Um, he's hilarious and also sometimes really politically incorrect. My name is Abigail McCarter, and basically what it's like to work with Clay is it's hard at times, but also extremely rewarding. You learn something new every single day. Through the process of the eight months that I've worked here, I've learned more than I did when I was in college for business. Um, so you learn a lot, and you learn not just about business, but also life experience as well. So it can go um, in two different ways, and it's fantastic. My name is Paul Matherin and I've known Clay specifically since February 2016. Getting to work closely with Clay, it's, it's a great learning experience at all times because he's like an interactive book, uh, just an infinite source of knowledge. Working with Clay has inspired me to do many things business-wise and in my personal life. Uh, one of the greatest things that I've, I've gained from Clay is to wake up earlier every day. So I wake up two hours earlier every day and it's gifted me uh, over a month of my life of 24 hour days over the course of a year. And in that time I've managed to be very productive in reading books uh, and getting action items done for clients and just generally improving my quality of life. If you don't know Clay, I would describe him to you in very few words. He loves life, he loves energy, he loves passion, he loves positivity, and he loves winning. My name is Felicia Brown. I'm a photographer and videographer here, but I didn't always start out that way. When I started, I started as a graphic designer. And my first day is something that I'll never forget. I walked in the door and everybody was hollering and cheering and so excited. All the sales team were on the phone with clients and we were literally hollering for them because we were so happy we were gonna help them change their lives. I knew from that moment that this was the type of place that I wanted to be at. But working with Clay is not as easy as it looks. The people on, with Clay and his team are very hardworking individuals. Everybody is diligent and passionate about their clients and they want to make sure that they're meeting those deadlines, but not only meeting the deadlines, over delivering. My name is Victoria Woods and I've been working with Clay for about two years. When I first came on here, I started in sales um, and learned a lot of different things. So working with Clay has definitely been an experience. Um, you learn something new every single day. Um, you're always moving forward. Since working with Clay, I have learned so many different things, not only in terms of business knowledge, but in my personal life as well. Um, honestly, it would be really hard to go in and list the different things that I've learned, but I do feel that I'm at a place now where I could go anywhere if I chose to and be really successful thanks to the things that I've learned from working with Clay. The type of people that are going to enjoy working with Clay are going to be, you know, go-getters, people who are always looking for new opportunities to learn a new skill or, you know, move up in whatever their personal goals are. Um, you know, somebody that's not going to take the easy way out and is just going to get the job done. My name is Rachel Jelly. My role at the company is in sales and scheduling. Since I've been working with Clay, I've really learned that the only limitations that I have are the ones that I put on myself. I would describe Clay's personality as a giraffe. He's a big picture thinker and a big thinker. My name is Jordan and I've been with Elephant in the Room for four years. I would describe the experience as energetic, friendly, and comfortable. What's unique about Elephant in the Room is we have a call center, so if you want to schedule your appointment, you can call our call center instead of having to call the store and get through when we're really busy. I would describe the clientele as more of higher-end business clients. Not having to keep up with my own books gives me peace of mind because it's less stressful throughout the day worrying about who I'm going to schedule next. The Monday morning all staff is energetic and it's a great way to start the morning off and get your week started. Hi, my name is Clay Clark and we are hiring people. And what you want to do if you're looking for the job, let's go over the, 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 the I think the three things people want to know about the job. John, John first off, how much can somebody make? Uh, no less than $20 an hour. It's not possible to make less than 20 an hour with this particular job. And uh, the thing two people want to know is what would, we, what would I be doing 
at the job. So I thought we would do a quick tour and we can show people what they'll be doing. Is that cool? Can we do a tour? Okay, so we're going to do a road trip here. Uh, we're, here. we're in the office right now. This incredible woman works here. This incredible woman works here. There are great people that are here. This incredible woman works here. This incredible woman works here. This incredible woman works here. These are all great people. Okay, so if you are looking to uh, seize this opportunity and to land this job that requires a little bit of handiness and you want to make uh, between $20 and $40 an hour, just fire me off a text right now at 918-851-0102. That's 918-851-0102. And uh, quick disclaimer, if you're a communist, you're a socialist, you're uh, a Luciferian, uh, if you're a part of Antifa, don't apply. But if you love a if you love this country, if you love Jesus, uh, apply. My phone number is 918-851-0102. 918-851-0102. We are now hiring. We'd love to hire you. My name is Clay Clark. My name is Vanessa Clark, and I am married to Clay Clark. We have five kids together. I uh, started my first business in my dorm room at Oral Roberts University back in 1999. In 2002, I received the Entrepreneur of the Year Award from the city of Tulsa, the Tulsa Chamber of Commerce. And uh, different business owners came up and said, hey, could you, could you help me grow my business? Or do you think that I could grow a business like you? And one by one, I began helping businesses, and then they began referring other people. Eventually, my wife said, you should charge people. I was saying, you need to be done with DJ Land and get under consulting because you're doing it for free way too long. And so I started charging people, and then those people led to more people, and now I'm a business coach. Day to day, Clay gets up very early. Um, I guess I'm just kind of used to it at this point. Typically, I go to bed around 10 p.m., and then I set my alarm. I set it so that I have exactly five hours to sleep. And then five hours from that time is when I wake up. So typically, I wake up like at 3.01. I type up my to-do list, make my plans, and then I come to work. So he is very extreme. Um, so he's one way or the other. There's no really in-between. I am just extremely passionate about people not being mediocre. I am an enemy of average, and anything that's average just pisses me off. And so I'm all about helping people who have big ideas turn those big ideas into reality by focusing on those small action steps. No one wants to do, but they have to do to grow a successful business. So one of the important things to understand about uh, Clay and all the people that surround him, all the team members, the partners, uh, the people that uh, Clay associates himself with are they're all people of high integrity and high character. And that comes back to the core values that he has for himself, his family, and his life. And it's uh, polarizing. So if you don't share the same core values, you're not going to like working with the other team members up here in the office. And so we, we protect that. We're almost like cultural warriors up here in the office, uh, protecting the core values of integrity and character. So Clay's passion for helping other business owners uh, grow their business, working in their business, working on their business, it's unmatched by any other business coach in the world. Um, not Tony Robbins, not Ty Lopez, not any of these charlatans that want to help you set up a click funnel or set up the 67 steps for success. But Clay sincerely cares deeply about helping other business owners get from where they are to where they want to be. And that is one of the coolest things in the world. So Clay's management style is a little bit unique, but effective. Um, he's going to hold you accountable, which means that we're going to celebrate the wins up here in the office uh, for whatever it is that you're doing when you achieve uh, a task or a project. Um, but you're also going to be held accountable. So if you're not meeting expectations, you're going to hear about it. And so uh, I think that can be a little bit of a uh, turnoff for some people. But for A players, it's really a uh, cool thing that we have up here in the office. The people that would not like working with Clay are those that uh, want to be assigned to tasks and then never followed up on at all. So zero accountability and people that yawn. So if you're meeting Clay for the first time, I have a couple tips. One, be brief. Two, be funny. And three, be witty. He might not acknowledge it at the time, but when he's in his man cave at 3 a.m., he's gonna remember that joke and think the world of you. Since working with Clay, I have definitely learned a lot about how to be a better leader, how to be a more solid manager, how to motivate my team, empower my team, how to hold my team accountable, and also how to help them bring that enthusiasm that makes our work culture so awesome. If you don't know Clay, he's very straightforward, he's no BS, but he's also hilarious. So he's got the best parts of, of a personality that you could 
you could want in a in a boss and a mentor and a person. I think people who are driven, they're motivated. Uh, I think the kind of teammates that would like working with Clay want success, they're motivated, they're passionate, but they're also really fun. Uh, they work hard and they play hard. I would say Clay's passion for helping business owners grow their business is overwhelming. He really does bring that optimistic momentum to every day. There is never a shortage of information that he shares with everybody. He always has a really funny story or some kind of parable to go along with the things that he's teaching. And he he has so many coaching moments that just come out of ordinary everyday situations. Uh, and I think that, that that really shines through just in his his day-to-day -day interactions with everybody. Clay's management style is not for everyone. And the reason why I say that is because he holds people accountable. And I think not many people are used to being held accountable. However, if you want to be successful, if you want to win, if you want for your dreams and your passions to come true, you have to be held accountable. Uh, and I think that Clay does an awesome job about that. But again, it's not for everybody. You will not like working with Clay if you don't like being made to do your job, if you are not results driven, if you are not passionate, or if you don't have an aim in life, if you're just kind of floating around. Uh, but you will love Clay if you are the opposite of that and want that success, you want to make your dreams come true and, and get the results that you want. I think Clay loves his turkeys, chickens, and cats so much because they provide him endless entertainment. My advice for anybody who's about to meet Clay would be you're gonna want a notebook, something to write with, a pen, and prepare to get a lot of information that's going to help you be successful. You will definitely be enlightened. In my time working with Clay, I've really learned how to simplify things in life. And I've learned to say no to some things. Improving my work-life balance has been huge. I think people who are kind of curious about their own limits and love trying new things and like being challenged, I think you're gonna enjoy working with Clay. Clay's passion for helping people grow their businesses, I would say is, is just genuine. He really hates to see people struggle and he wants to help them in, in any way he can to grow their business. What I'd say is the most polarizing about Clay's management style is that he doesn't let you get your own area and get comfortable. He's always pulling you into things that terrify you, uh, pulling you on the radio show and just making you stretch yourself and expand yourself. I think if you think you've got it figured out pretty much, you're not gonna, you're gonna have a hard time working with Clay. If you're about to meet Clay for the first time, definitely be on time and be present in the room. Be, be focused on what you're there to do and don't be distracted by phones and buzzing and texting and all of that. Not to get too deep, but I think what Clay sees in his turkeys, chickens, and cats, I, I trust is not, trust is kind of huge. And trust is not a, a, an, an element of perfection. You don't trust people because they're perfect. You trust them because they're consistent. And I think consistency is something that he really appreciates in people. And to me, those animals kind of epitomize consistency. It's easy to get into a routine with those animals. You know, he knows what to expect and they're not gonna surprise him. So I think that's what he appreciates in people as well. So for somebody that doesn't know Clay incredibly well or you're just meeting him, the first thing that you need to know about his personality is it's very polarizing black and white, and really that's uh, how you know whether you're going to love working with him or maybe not like working with him right off the bat. People that are really motivated and driven love working with Clay. People that love to laugh, love to be really weird, and are comfortable doing that, uh, love working here. Um, on the counter side of that, if you're slow and lazy and kind of just want to float along in your job, not really looking to improve or develop yourself, you're probably not going to like working with Clay. He's always challenging you, always pushing you to be better and learn new skills and step outside of your comfort zone and do things that make you squirm a little bit. Clay's passion for helping business owners uh, grow their businesses translates into everything that he does. It kind of affects his whole self. So everything um, that he does from the moment that he wakes up is preparing himself to 
uh, share that with people and get his message across. He's always looking for new methods and new medias to reach wider audiences. I mean, that's why he does a podcast, so that he can reach people that aren't physically here. Um, but yeah, it affects, it affects everything he does. Clay's management style is extremely blunt and, like I said, politically incorrect. So I think that's probably the most polarizing thing that you can be in society today. I mean, he just puts it out there and kind of just sees how you handle it. And that's either going to draw you in or send you running in the other direction. Um, if you're about to meet Clay for the first time, all I would say is be yourself. He's really good at reading people. All the management here is really good at reading people. And so if you're trying to be something that you're not and you're disingenuous, they're going to pick up on that. I would describe Clay's personality as somewhat eccentric. Um, he is very determined, he's consistent, he's hilarious, he's extremely hardworking, um, and he just loves to get things done. He's a grinder and he really loves to see progress and success in his employees and, his, and in, in his clients. Since working with Clay, I have learned an enormous amount of business knowledge and life experience. Um, I've learned more working for Clay than I did in the four years of going to a private university for business and entrepreneurship, if that tells you anything. Um, and then life experience, just he's changed the way I've looked at relationships in my personal life. He's changed the way that I looked at goals myself um, for setting for myself. He's changed. Um, a lot of things just in my personal life and, and in my business life. The kind of employees and teammates who really love working with Clay are people who love to get things done, who love to grind things out, who love to um, see the success in others, and who also love to um, have a bigger goal in mind, to like to work to look, work for something and um, for other people as well. So Clay has an enormous passion for helping business owners um, and the best way I can describe this is he doesn't have to do Thrive 15 um, financially and just in his personal life. He doesn't have to have this business. He created this business because he has that passion and he loves to see people succeed and to work for something and overcome things um, and see them do great in life and in their business. So Clay's management style can be polarizing, um, mainly because he demands a lot out of his employees. Um, because there's so much to get done and he does want to see success in all of his clients, there's a lot of behind the scenes work that everyone has to do on a daily basis. Um, and that could mean being here at 5.30 in the morning or leaving at nine at night. If you are very um, goal driven and like, like to get things done, then it would be perfect for you. So I've worked at a lot of different places and it probably wouldn't be a good fit if you are the employee who likes to take long breaks in the bathroom or who doesn't like to um, do anything while the manager is not in front of your site or um, there to keep you on track or if you like to be on your cell phone all day, <laughs> um, things like that. It, it probably wouldn't be a good fit for, for this company. The advice I would give to you if you were first meeting Clay was definitely be prepared. <laughs> so bring um, a pen, bring a piece of paper or a notebook, um, and also do your research on Clay, Dr. Zellner, the companies that they've created. Um, have questions all ready for him, um, and just come with confidence and integrity, um, and you'll be fine. Um, so one thing that's different about Clay is that he really loves spending time with his turkeys, his chickens, his cats. Um, some unconventional animals that for, for most people and I think he likes spending time with these animals just because they're not human beings <laughs> to be honest and he has to deal with a lot of people every day a lot of different personalities so really spending time with these animals kind of gives him a break from that most importantly Clay knows what he wants and he's found a way to synthesize every aspect of his life to create a harmonious balance so if you contribute toward that balance, then you'll have a good relationship with Clay. And if you take from that balance or disrupt that balance, then he won't last long uh, in Clay's life. I've definitely noticed a, a common denominator between employees that enjoy working with Clay. And they're often diligent, they're hardworking, they dress sharp, uh, they have great personalities, and Clay enjoys being around every single one of them. Clay has a desire to see people win. And I think the reason for that is that 
he knows what it's like to win and he knows how good it feels and he wants people to share that same experience that he has. He also knows what it takes to get there. And so to share those concepts with people is a great passion of his um, because he's not selfish and he doesn't want to keep winning just to himself. The kind of people that wouldn't enjoy working with Clay are people that are under the illusion that they know everything they need to know out of life and business and everything in between. Um, I've always believed in the concept that we're always growing, we're constantly growing, and there are no such thing as plateaus in life. So as soon as you stop growing, you're essentially dead and essentially pointless to the earth. And so um, Clay understands that, and everybody that works for Clay also understands that. Um, so the kind of people that don't enjoy working with Clay are people that don't want to grow, don't want to learn, and are most definitely not coachable. Clay really loves his turkey, his chicken, and his cats. And I've really, I've taken a lot of time thinking about why that might be. Now there are two answers to this. First of all, there's a surface level answer, okay? Clay just loves animals. I mean, who doesn't love animals? But then there's a deeper answer to this. When you look at animals, animals do what they want. Take cats, for example. Have you ever tried to tell a cat to sit? Good luck with that. Well, it's the same thing with Clay. Clay does what he wants. Clay doesn't wear a suit. Clay wears a hoodie, he wears jeans and he wears Adidas sneakers to work because he can. He's earned the right to do so. Just like a cat won't come and sit on your lap if you tell it to do so, you cannot tell Clay to wear a suit. And so he has something in common with these animals. And so he relates to the animals. And so that's why I think he loves spending time with his turkey, his chickens, and his cats. If you're preparing to meet Clay, first of all, I'd say make sure you're not late. You have to respect his time. Uh, because as I said before, he's found a way to synthesize the aspects of his life to where his time is very efficient and very intentional. Uh, I would dress sharply and I would come prepared to laugh because Clay is hilarious. I'd also make sure that you bring something to make notes with, whether that's a pen, a pencil, a paintbrush, or a piece of chalk. Clay's passion for helping other business owners grow their business and be successful is very apparent. Everything from his radio show to the day-to-day -day coaching that he does with his clients. Um, because when he helps his clients win, that's, you know, he's the best, so he's winning. Um, you know, it's just a white, white hot passion for helping people reach their goals. Um, and it's really, it's really great to see somebody who's not always just trying to get the best for themselves and but help somebody else reach their goals. The type of people that would not like to work with Clay would be the people who call in sick all the time for a runny nose, um, somebody that is always going to look for an easy way out, um, shortcuts that just to make their life easier, um, somebody that's nefarious, you know, anybody that's shady because Clay's very transparent in everything that he does. So if that's not you know, you, you probably wouldn't like it. So if you don't know Clay, um, he is a very unique person. He uses humor a lot, and it's a really good way to interact with people and help people actually obtain whatever you're trying to get through to them. Um, and he's just a very passionate person about reaching his goals and completing what he sets his mind to. My best guess of why Clay likes turkeys, chickens, cats so much, you know, those unorthodox animals, is because Clay is not the most orthodox human, so, you know, he relates to them. If you were about to meet Clay for the first time, I would highly recommend three things. One, bring a pen and paper. Two, do not yawn. And three, stay off of your cell phone. The teammates and employees that work with Clay are people who have vision, drive, ambition, and they know where they're going. They know their goals, so that's been really amazing. Clay's passion for helping business owners is really like tunnel vision, in a good way though. He is so determined to help his clients win. I would characterize Clay's management style as a strong leader. He really wants you to go as far as you want to go, and he's gonna help you get there. The kind of people that would not like working with Clay would be anyone who lacks ambition or is unwilling to change or grow. The advice that I would give to someone that's going to meet Clay for the first time would be come hungry, bring your A-game, and be intentional about your questions and your time with him. I think that Clay likes his turkey, chickens, and cats so much because they genuinely make him happy. My name is Robert Redmond. I uh, actually first met Clay almost three years ago to the day. I don't know if he remembers it or not, but I wasn't working with him at the time. I asked to see him and just ask him some questions to help 
you know, direct my life, to get some mentorship. The experience working here has, to put it real plainly, has been just life changing. Um, I have not only learned new things and have gained new knowledge, uh, but, but I have gained a whole new mindset um, that I believe wherever I end up uh, will serve me well throughout the rest of my life. Since working with Clay, uh, I have learned so much. I mean, I would like to say almost everything about, about business in terms of the different categories. I haven't learned it all. Uh, but I've learned all about marketing. I've learned about advertising. I've learned about branding. I've learned how to create a sales process for organizations in any industry. I've learned how to sell. Uh, I've learned how to create repeatable systems and processes and uh, hold people accountable. Um, you know, how to hire people. It just, it's, it's almost like every aspect of a business you can learn. I have learned um, a lot in, in those different categories. Uh, and then, Again, the, the mindset that I've gained here um, has been huge. You know, uh, working here, uh, you, can't, you, you can't be a mediocre person. Um, you are uh, a call to a higher standard of, of excellence. And then as you're called to that standard here, you begin to see those outcomes in every area of your life, uh, that standard of excellence that, that you want to implement um, no matter what you're involved in. Uh, I would like to describe the other... Uh, people that, that work with Clay uh, are people that are going somewhere with their life. Uh, Marshall in, in the group interview uh, talks about how uh, you know the, the best fits for this organization are, are the people that, that are goal-oriented. So they're on their own trajectory and we're on our own trajectory and uh, the, the best fits are those people where there can be a, a mutually beneficial relationship that as we pursue our goals uh, and we help the business pursue those goals, the uh, business helps us pursue our goals as well. Uh, and so I'd say people that are driven, people that want to make something of their lives, uh, people that are uh, goal-oriented, they're focused, uh, uh, and uh, they're committed to overcoming any adversity that may uh, come their way. Clay's passion for helping business uh, owners grow their businesses is it's, it's unique in that I don't know if there's anyone else's that can be as passionate. Um, you know, whenever a business starts uh, uh, working with Clay, uh, it, it's almost as like Clay is, is running that business in the sense that he has something at stake. Um, you know, he's just serving them. Uh, they're, they're, they're one of his clients, but it's, it's as if he is actively involved in the business. Whenever they have a win, he's posting it all over his social media. He's shouting it across uh, the, the room here, here at Thrive. Um, you know, he's uh, sending people encouraging messages. He can kind of be that, that life coach and, and, and business coach in terms of being that uh, a motivator and that champion for uh, people's businesses. It's, 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 again, unique because there's no one else I've seen uh, get so excited about and passionate about other people's businesses. The kind of people that wouldn't like working with Clay are people that are satisfied with, with mediocrity, uh, people that uh, want to get th through life by just doing enough, by just getting by, uh, people who are not looking to develop themselves, people who are not coachable, people who think that they know it all and they're unwilling to change. Um, I would say those are the type of people, and in short, anyone that's content with mediocrity uh, would not like working with Clay. So if um, you're meeting Clay for the first time, the advice I'd give you is uh, definitely come ready to take tons of notes. Uh, every time Clay speaks, he uh, um, it gives you a wealth of knowledge uh, that you don't want to miss. I remember the first time that I met Clay, I literally carried a notebook with me all around. I was looking at this notebook the other day, actually. I carried a notebook with me uh, all around, and I just took tons of notes. I filled the entire notebook in uh, about, about three or four months, uh, just from being around Clay, following him, and, and, and learning from him. And then I would say, come, come coachable. Uh, uh, be, be open to uh, learning something new. Be open to challenging yourself. Uh, be open to um, learning and, and adjusting parts about you that, that uh, need to be adjusted. I think Clay loves his uh, turkey, chickens, and cats. First of all, 
because Clay actually uh, spent some time on, on a farm, I believe in Minnesota. He talks about how his uh, uncle, who's been somewhat of a mentorship figure to, to him, uh, spent time uh, uh, on a farm with him. And I remember a story that he tells where he says that uh, he didn't like wake up on time and his uncle was telling him, hey, if you don't wake up on time, you're not gonna eat. And he didn't wake up on time and uh, he didn't eat. And there was another time where he didn't try hard at a basketball game. And his uncle said, hey, since you're not trying hard, you're gonna walk home. And he literally walked home. So uh, he had that farm experience, uh, but I think on a deeper layer, uh, turkeys and chickens and cats, they're not too dramatic. And I know that Clay does not like dealing with gossip, with, with drama, uh, with you know, negative e emotions. Um, and then, you know, those animals are kind of have a, an aspect of purity to them. And I believe that uh, deep down that Clay loves anything that is wholesome, good, and pure. My name's Carter Watts. My experience here has been really amazing. Um, I love working with the people here. I really love being able to interact with Clay on a pretty regular basis. Since I began working here, I've learned a lot of valuable skills. I've been able to learn how to be more efficient with my time. Um, I've been able to learn some things to apply to my wife and I's business. We run a photography company together, so I, I've learned a lot of really good skills that I think are really going to help to boost our business. Uh, since I've met and begun working with Clay, one of the things that I've learned is to be more productive with my time. Um, before I started working here, I still got up relatively early. I would get up about 5.36 uh, to get things done at work, but I never seemed to have time for what I really wanted to do. Um, personally, I love going to the gym, and so one of the things I've learned from Clay is when you want to add things to your schedule, you need to take things out. So I stopped staying up late. I began going to bed at 9 o'clock, 8.30 sometimes, and I'll get up at 4.30, so I'll have you know a half day full of what I want to do before I come here and begin working. I'll describe Clay's passion for helping business owners as fiery, definitely. He is very intense when he has his mindset on something he wants to do. He doesn't hesitate, he goes for it. He knows exactly what a company needs to help them learn and grow. He's not gonna sugarcoat it at all. He's gonna tell you exactly what needs to happen. My advice for you, if you're to meet Clay for the first time would be show up early, bring a pen and a paper, and be ready to hear a lot of jokes. Now he's not exuberant about his jokes, they're kind of just small things you have to catch on. If you're meeting Clay for the first time, my advice would to be show up on time, bring a pen and a paper, and be ready for a lot of jokes, as well as a overflow of knowledge. To me, I think Clay loves his turkeys, chickens, and cats so much, uh, is because they're a bit like him. They're all kind of standoffish, um, but once you get to know them, they're pretty awesome. My name is Jason Beasley, and I have been with Elephant in the Room for four years now. I mean, Elephant in the Room, it, how would I explain the experience Elephant in the Room provides? Um, it provides an amazing work environment, but also uh, just constant accountability. It's, the, it's one of the few places I've ever worked where I come in feeling energized to go to work every day. I don't have a case of the Mondays because I know that no matter what day I have ahead of me, it's just gonna be systemized, it's gonna be accurate, and it's gonna be action-packed. Um, one of the things that makes Elephant in the Room unique as compared to other salons is the fact that they offer a full experience. So I get my hair cut there all the time, but uh, one of the cool things that always brings the guys back and one of the reasons why we're so popular amongst guys is the fact that we don't just you know get you in and out for a haircut. You have your regular stylist, there's awesome conversation. Uh, the overall experience is great from the shampoo to the style to all the add-ons. I've never had, I've never worked at a place like that or had my hair cut uh, at a place quite like Elephant in the Room. The clientele at Elephant in the Room varies from like your everyday average Joe to your CEO. So one of the cool things about working the uh, front desk at Elephant in the Room being a manager is you always have interesting conversation. You're gonna talk to some guy about Star Wars. You're gonna talk to some guy about Fortune 500 companies. It's uh, just a blast. There's just so many varying different types of people that come through. The Monday morning all staff meetings are kind of like a game show, if I had to describe it. Um, we go in and there's always something super motivating, but Clay does a lot of call and response. So even if everybody else has a case of the Mondays, he doesn't allow us to. He'll make sure that he engages every single person, but there's just a lot of energy. It gives us a really awesome uh, ability to reset at the beginning of every week and make sure that we're on our best game.
Oh, I describe the training at Elephant in the Room as in-depth and intentional. I've worked at plenty of other places where they had training protocols that you do maybe one time, but here, whether it be the weekly meetings, uh, the Monday meetings, or uh, even individual training throughout the week, we make sure that our managers and our stylists are always growing. And I think it's really cool because a lot of places you just get like stagnant and you feel like you're stuck and you're never gonna learn anything new. There's always an ability to learn something new and grow your skills within Elephant, so I love that. I learned at the Academy in Kings Point in New York, octa non verba. Watch what a person does, not what they say. Hi, I'm Aaron Antis with Shaw Homes. I first heard about Clay through a mortgage lender here in town who had told me what a great job he had been doing for them. And I actually noticed he was driving a Lamborghini all of a sudden, so I was willing to listen. Uh, in my career, I've sold a little over $800 million in real estate. So honestly, I thought I kind of knew everything about marketing and um, homes. And then I met Clay and my perception of what I knew and what I could do definitely changed. After doing $800 million in sales over a 15-year career, I really thought I knew what I was doing. I've been managing a large team of salespeople for the last 10 years here with Shaw Homes. And I mean, we've been a company that's been in business for 35 years. We've become one of the largest builders in the Tulsa area and uh, that was without Clay. So when I came to know Clay, I really thought, man, there's not much more I need to know, but I'm willing to listen. The interesting thing is our internet leads from our website has actually in a four month period of time has gone from somewhere around 10 to 15 leads in a month to 180 internet leads in a month. Just from the few things that he's shown us how to implement that I honestly probably never would have come up with on my own. So uh, I got a lot of good things to say about the system that Clay put in place with us. And it's just been an incredible experience. I am very glad that we met and had the opportunity to work with Clay. So the interaction with the team and with Clay on a weekly basis is honestly very enlightening. One of the things that I love about Clay's perspective on things is that he doesn't come from my industry. He's not somebody who's in the home building industry. I've listened to all the experts in my field. Our company has paid for me to go to seminars, international builder shows, all kinds of places where I've had the opportunity to learn from the experts in my industry. But the thing that I found working with Clay is that he comes from such a broad spectrum of working with so many different types of businesses that he has a perspective that's difficult for me to gain because I get so entrenched in what I do, I'm not paying attention to what other leading industry experts are doing. And Clay really brings that perspective for me. It is very valuable time every week when I get that hour with him. From my perspective, the reason that any business owner who's thinking about hooking up with Thrive needs to definitely consider it is because the results that we've gotten in a very short period of time are honestly monumental. It has really exceeded my wildest expectation of what he might be able to do. I came in skeptical because I'm very pragmatic and as I've gone through the process over just a few months, I've realized it's probably one of the best moves we've ever made. I think a lot of people probably feel like they don't need a business or marketing consultant because they maybe are a little bit prideful and like to think they know everything. I know that's how I felt coming in. I mean, we're a big company that's definitely one of the largest in town. And so we kind of felt like we knew what we were doing. And I think for a lot of people, they let their ego get in the way of listening to somebody that might have a better or different perspective than theirs. I would just really encourage you if you're thinking about working with Clay. I mean, the thing is, it's month to month. Go give it a try and see what happens. I think in the 35 year history of Shaw Homes, this is probably the best thing that's happened to us. And I know if you give them a shot, I think you'll feel the same way.
I know for me, the thing I would have missed out on if I didn't work with Clay is I would have missed out on literally an 1,800% increase in our internet leads. Going from 10 a month to 180 a month, that would have been a huge financial decision to just decide not to give it a shot. I would absolutely recommend Clay Clark to anybody who's thinking about working with somebody in marketing. I would skip over anybody else you were thinking about and I would go straight to Clay and his team. I guarantee you're not gonna regret it because we sure haven't. Hello, my name is Charles Kolaw with Kolaw Fitness. Uh, today I wanna tell you a little bit about Clay Clark and how I know Clay Clark. Clay Clark has been my business coach since 2017. He's helped us grow from two locations to now six locations. We're planning to do seven locations in seven years and then franchise. And Clay has done a great job of helping us navigate anything that has to do with like running the business, building the systems, the checklists, the workflows, the audits, um, how to, how to um, navigate lease agreements, how to uh, buy property, um, how to uh, work with brokers and builders. This guy is just amazing. He's, he's This kind of guy has worked in every single industry. He's written books with like Lee Crockerell, head of Disney with the 40,000 cast members. Um, he's friends with like Mike Lindell. Um, he does Reawaken America tours where he does these tours all across the country where 10,000 or more people show up to some of these tours on the day to day. He does anywhere from uh, about 160 companies. He's at the top. He has a team of uh, business coaches, videographers, and graphic designers and web developers, and they run 160 companies every single week. So think of this guy with a team of business coaches running 160 companies. So in the weekly, he's running 160 companies. Um, every six to eight weeks, he's doing Reawaken America tours. Every six to eight weeks, he's also doing business conferences where 200 people show up, and he teaches people a 13-step proven system that he's done and worked with billionaires, helping them grow their companies. Um, so he's, I've seen guys from startups go from startup to being multimillionaires, um, teaching people how to get time freedom and financial freedom through the system critical thinking, document creation, um, making it, putting it into, uh, or organizing everything in their head to building into a, a franchisable, scalable business. Like one of his businesses has like 500 franchises. That's just one of the companies or brands that he works with. So amazing guy, Elon Musk kind, kind of like smart guy. Um, he kind of comes off sometimes as socially awkward, but he's so brilliant and he's taught me so much. When I say that, like, like Clay is like, he doesn't care what people think when you're talking to him. He cares about where you're going in your life and where he can get you to go. Um, and that's what I like him most about him. He's like a, a good coach. A coach isn't just making you feel good all the time. A coach is actually helping you get to the best you. And Clay has been an amazing business coach. Through the course of that, we became friends. Um, my, I was really most impressed with him is when I was shadowing him one time. Um, we went into a business deal and listened to it. I, I got to shadow and listen to it. And when we walked out, I knew that he could make millions on the deal. And they were super excited about working with him. And he told me, he's like, I'm not going to touch it. I'm going to turn it down. Um, because he knew it was going to harm the common good of people in the long run. And uh, the guy's integrity um, just really wowed me. Uh, it brought tears to my eyes to see that this guy, his, he doesn't, his highest desire was to do what's right. And um, uh, anyways, just, just, just an amazing man. So anyways, impacted me a lot. Um, he's helped navigate. Anytime I've got nervous or worried about uh, how to run the company or uh, you know, navigating competition and, 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 and an economy that's like, I remember we got closed down for three months. He helped us navigate on how to stay open, how to, how to get back open, how to um, uh, just survive through all the COVID shutdowns, lockdowns, because our clubs were all closed for three months and you have $350,000 of bills you've got to pay and uh, we have no accounts receivable. He helped us navigate that. Um, and of course we were conservative enough that we could afford to, to take that on for a period of time. But it was, uh, anyways, great man. I'm very imp impressed with him. So Clay, thank you for everything you're doing. And um, I encourage you if, you, if you haven't ever worked with Clay, work with Clay, he's gonna help magnify you. And there's nobody I have ever met that has the ability to work as hard as he does. He probably sleeps four, maybe six hours a day and literally the rest of the time he's working and he can outwork everybody in the room every single day and and he loves it so anyways um this is charles cola with cola fitness thank you clay um, and anybody out there that's wanting to work with clay um, it's a great great uh, opportunity to ever work with him so you guys have a blessed one this is charles cola we'll see you guys good morning good morning good morning harvard kiyosaki the rich dad radio show today i'm broadcasting 
uh, from Phoenix, Arizona, not Scottsdale, Arizona. They're close, but they're completely different worlds. And uh, we have a special guest today. Uh, definition of intelligence is if you agree with me, you're intelligent. And so this gentleman is very intelligent. I've done this show before also, but very seldom do you find somebody who lines up on all counts. And it's a Mr. Clay Clark. He's a friend of a good friend, Eric, Eric Trump. But we're also talking about money, bricks, and how screwed up the world can get in a few and a half hour. So Clay Clark is a very intelligent man. And there's so many ways we could take this thing. But I thought, uh, since you and Eric are close, Trump, what were you saying about what Trump can't, what Donald, who is my yeah. age, and I can say or cannot say? What, well, I have to, first of all, I have to honor you, sir. I want to show you what I did to one of your books here. There's all a right. guy by the name of Jeremy Thorne, who was my boss at the time. I was 19 years old, working at Faith Highway. I had a job at Applebee's, Target, and DirecTV. And he said, have you read this book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad? And I said, no. And uh, my father, may he rest in peace, um, he didn't know these financial principles. So I started reading all of your books and uh, really devouring your books. And I went from being an employee to self-employed to the business owner to the investor. And I owe a lot of that to you. And I just wanted to take a moment to tell you thank you so much for allowing me to, to, to achieve success. And then I'll tell you all about Eric Trump. But I just want to tell you, thank you, sir, for changing my life. Well, not only that, Clay, you know, thank you, but you've become an influencer. You know, more than anything else, you've evolved into an influencer where your word has more and more power. So that's why I uh, congratulate you on becoming. Because as you know, there's a lot of fake influencers out there, too, or bad influencers. Yeah. So anyway, I'm, well, I'm, I'm glad you and I agree so much. And thanks for reading my books. Yeah. That's, that's the greatest thrill for me today. Not a thrill, but recognition is when people, young men especially, come up and say, I read your book, Changed My Life, I'm doing this, I'm doing this, I'm doing this. I learned at the Academy in Kings Point in New York, octa non verba, watch what a person does, not what they say.